Hello, this is functions lesson two. In this, I will discuss questions on domain and range. Now, what is domain? Domain means uh, all the input range, range that is minimum to maximum values of input, for which output is always a real number. It means that domain will be the all the values of input for which the output is always a real number. Range will be the range of output. It means that maximum minimum to maximum value of output for all kinds of input. How function is defined? Function is defined for example f r to r. My function on x is equals to mod x. This is the of basically formal definition of function. Now this r is a real number. This is the input or domain set. It means your domain set is real number set of all real numbers. Output is also core domain is also given to you as a real number. And the function is function on x is mod x. Here the input will be x. Output will be f x. Here the input will be the value of x. Output would be f x. Or you can say that this is equals to y. You can take the f x as y. This will be the output. Y is equals to f x. Now can you tell the domain and range of this question? Domain means I told you the uh, set of all input for which output is a real number. Now our function is y is equals to f x is equals to mod x. Now what will be the domain of this function? Domain means the value of x for which output is a real number. Now you can see that I can put any values of x. All values are valid. I can put minus 3, I can put minus 2, I can put uh, x as minus 2 by 3, it, it is also valid. I can put x as 5 by 7, I can put x as minus 560, I can put x as 780. So all values of x are valid. So can I say domain of this function will be real numbers, r. Domain of this function will be real number, you can say that minus infinity to infinity. You can put all the values that are possible in real number set. Minus infinity to infinity, all possible value you can put or you can see that r set of real number so that will be the domain of y is equals to mod x what will be the range now range means the output now you know that you know that in mod the average value is positive for example if you put mod minus 4 this will give you 4 if you put mod minus 5 by 3 this will give you 5 by 3 so every negative value will give you a positive value so can I say that range will be equals to real numbers greater than equals to zero. Real number greater than equals to zero because minimum value of mode can be zero. When you put x is equals to zero, then when you put mode zero, x is equals to zero, this value will be zero. So minimum value of mode will be zero and maximum till infinity. So can I say range will be equals to zero to infinity, zero will be included. Square bracket on zero, zero will be included. So domain of this function is real number that is minus infinity to infinity range is 0 to infinity and core domain was given to you r that is that will be specified to you so we know core domain we, we know domain and we know range now question 2 is fx is equals to x square find the domain and range now domain is the set of input values for which output is a real number now we can put any values of x whenever y is equals to fx this is a function you could you can put any values of x for every value of x the y will be a real number you can put x is equals to minus 2 by 3 you can put 2 by 3 you can put 0 1 true any number that you can think of you can put the value of x all values are valid so it means that domain will be equals to r that is set of real number you can say that minus the infinity to infinity what be the range range means output output set would be how much you put any values of x your answer will be in the form of positive values the range or output can never be negative because function is y is equals to x square if you put let's say x is equal to 0 then y will also be equal to 0 if you put x is equal to minus 1 by 3 again y will be equal to 1 by 9 positive so every negative input its square will be positive so can i say range would be from 0 to infinity 0 is possible because if you put uh, x is equal to 0 your answer would be 
y is equals to zero. So domain is minus infinity to infinity. Range means output set will be from zero to infinity. Zero will be included. Now third question you should try first yourself. Then look at the way I have solved. Everybody, every student, please first try this question. You need to find the domain and range of this function. Then look at the solution. Now domain would be set of input for which the output is a real number. Now we know that. 1 minus mod x should be greater than equals to 0. Otherwise, we know that square of negative number, negative number is not defined. The, the number inside this square can't be negative. It will be a complex function. So it means that the number inside this square root that is 1 minus mod x, this number must be positive because square root of negative number will be a complex function. It will not be a real number. And I told you the basic definition of domain. It means that uh, the values of x for which output is a real number. If you uh, take any number for which 1 minus mod x is negative, the output will be a complex number. For example, I am taking if you put x is equal to let's say 8. So this will become 1 minus mod x. This will become 1 minus 8 that is minus 7. And it's there in square root. So this will be a complex function output will not be a real so very important you have to domain means the value of input x such that output is a real number so it means that this one minus mod x must be greater than equals to zero then only your output will be a real number now what values i can put for x such that it is greater than equals to zero i can't put x greater than equals to one because if I put x greater than equals to 1, this will be negative. Can I can't put x less than minus 1 because mod is positive. If I put x minus 2, again it will be equals to negative number. For example, I am putting less than minus 1. It will also be invalid. 1 minus, for example, I am putting minus 5. It is again 1 minus 5 minus 4. This is not greater than 0. I can't put x less than minus 1. What range I can put? I can't uh, put less than minus 1. I can't take greater than 1. So what I, I should take? So can I say x range would be minus 1 to 1 including all the values in between. So that will be the domain. So the domain would be minus 1 to 1. You can put any values between minus 1 to 1. The 1 minus mod x will be positive. For all values of domain minus 1 to 1, 1 minus mod x will be positive greater than equals to 0 you can put x is equals to 1 by 3 you can put x is equals to minus 1 by 3 you can put 1 or you can put minus 1 all values are valid so domain of this function will be minus 1 to 1 and what will be the range of this function range means set of output values now you can see that uh, you can't output will always be positive because if you put uh, x is equal to minus 1 by 3 again it will act as 1 by 3 so I'm calculating the range of this function range I'm calculating the range of 1 minus mod x under the square root now even if you put x is equal to minus 1 by 3 which is a valid input what will be the output that is 1 minus minus 1 by 3 mod square root can I say this equals to 1 minus 1 by 3 that is 2 by 3 square root and output will always be positive so range would be range would be 0 to 1 both are included because if you put x is equal to 0 range would be 1 if you put x is equal to 1 range would be 0 so 0 to 1 range will also be post always be positive in this case so range is 0 to 1 and domain is set of all input valid input is minus 1 to 1 that was a bit difficult question and I hope you understood the question. Question 4 is fx is equal to mod of x minus 6 minus mod of x minus 7. Now what is the domain and range? You first try to solve yourself then look at the way I have solved. Everybody please first try to solve this question yourself then look at the way I have solved. Now domain would be how much? Domain would be you can put any values of x. All For all values of x the output will be a real number or valid. So all the inputs are valid. You put any values of x, output will be a real number. You put 7, you put 8, you put 5 by 3, you can put minus 5 by 3. All are valid. 
so domain is a real number set of real number you can say that minus infinity to infinity that will be the domain of this function now crucial thing in this question is to calculate the range for range i will test uh, i will put so many values then i will check what is what is the output is coming first you can put the simple values if you put x is equal to 6 i hope you know how to solve the mode 6 minus 6 would be 0 0 minus 6 minus 7 minus 1 mode is 1 so 0 minus 1 is 1 will be your output if you put x is equal to 7 what you will get 7 minus 6 1 mode 1 is 1 7 minus 7 mode 7 minus 7 is 0 mode 0 is 0 so output will be 1 in this case output was uh, minus 1 so not 1 if you put x is equal to 6 the output would be minus 1 so I'm getting two outputs minus 1 and 1 so that was when x is equal to 6 or 7 when x is equal to less than 6 this is the possible range whenever like, x is less than 6 any value less than 6 you can put x is equal to 0 or you can put x is equal to 2 I'm checking two values whatever is valid for these two values will be valid for all values less than x x less than 6 if you put x is equal to 0 so 0 minus mode 6 is minus 6 minus 6 mode is 6 0 minus 7 minus 7 mode is 7 7 6 minus 7 is minus 1 x is equal to 2 2 minus 6 minus 4 mode is 4 2 minus 7 minus 5 mode is 5 again the value is minus 1 it means that for all values of x less than 6 the output is minus 1 only one output will come minus 1 for all values less than 6 for all values greater than 7 you need to check whenever x is greater than 7 is another possibility any values I have taken integer you can take the fraction also again the output will be minus 1 whenever x is less than 6 x greater than 7 I am checking x is equal to 10 or x is equal to 8 you can check fraction but that will be difficult that's why I am checking the integer when you put x is equal to 10 10 minus 6 4 4 minus 3 1 so answer would be 1 output will be 1 whenever x is 8 8 minus 6 2 minus 8 minus 7 1 again output would be 1 so for all values of x greater than 7 the output would be equals to 1 now for between 6 and 7 let me check this is 6 x you can put x is equal to 6.2 you can take x is equal to 6.5 in between and you can take x is equal to 6.8 whenever you put x is equal to 6.2 what you are getting 6.2 minus 6.2 minus 6. Uh, 6.2 minus 7 0.8 minus 0.8 mode will be 0.8 this will be minus 0.6 when you put x is equal to 6.5 this will be 6.5 minus 6.5 minus 0.5 you will get is equal to 0 6.8 you will get 0.8 minus 0.2 you get 0.6 so positive and negative both values are coming so whenever uh, x is between 6 and 7 the range or output would be your minus 1 to 1 minus 1 and 1 in between minus 1 and 1 it will include 0 it will include uh, 0.5 include minus 0.5 so minus 1 to 1 so what is actually I am getting so either I am getting minus 1 or 1 or in between minus 1 and 1 so can I say my range would be my final range would be very important range would be minus 1 to 1 included both the values minus will 1 and 1 in between and including these two values minus 1 and 1 that will be the output of this function so that was a bit difficult question but important function uh, you need to tell the range so we discussed four questions on domain and range in the next lesson uh, I will continue with more on functions thank you